Have you ever found yourself in a season of life where joy seems out of reach? Unable to genuinely smile or feel that childlike joy you once had? Well, if that's you, you're not alone. Despite having a lot to be happy for, I recently married the most amazing woman ever. I feel like I'm creating some of my best music and I have all of my needs met in life plus some. Things are really good on the surface, but for whatever reason, that usual spark of joy in my soul has been hard to find. I've felt like a piece of me is missing. As I've wrestled with God asking him why am I feeling this way, I've come to realize that joy is something I have to choose right now. While happiness is an emotion that comes and goes, biblical joy is rooted in faith. It involves a conscious effort to put on a smile rather than waiting for it to come naturally. I found that when I make it a priority to choose joy, to smile more and focus on all the blessings in my life, I begin to find my old self again. In Proverbs 17:22, it says, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Think about that for a moment. A smile, a reflection of a cheerful heart, is like medicine. It heals, it lifts, and it transforms. When you smile, you're not just lifting your face, you're lifting your soul and the souls of those around you. It seems too simple, right? But smiling can have a profound impact on your life. For the science folks out there, including myself, here are a few of the many studies that prove Proverbs 17.22 to be true. In 2010, Ernest Abel and Michael Kruger from Wayne State University conducted a study called Smile Intensity in Photographs Predicts Longevity. In this study, the researchers analyzed photographs of Major League Baseball players and found that those with the most intense smiles lived an average of seven years longer than those who didn't smile. I don't know about you, but to me, that's pretty wild. Having a cheerful heart resulted in an extra seven years of life. Another study, Grin and Barrett, the influence of manipulated facial expressions on the stress response by Tara Kraft and Sarah Pressman at the University of Kansas, explores how facial expressions can affect our stress levels. The study involved participants who were asked to hold either a neutral expression or a smile using chopsticks in their mouth, which mimic the muscles used in smiling. They were then subjected to stress-inducing tasks like submerging their hand in icy water. The researchers found that participants who were smiling, even if it was forced with chopsticks, reported lower stress levels compared to those with neutral expressions. This suggests that facial expressions, particularly smiling, can influence our psychological and physiological responses to stress. The study provides insight into the potential benefits of adopting a positive facial expression in stressful situations. So it's evident that a simple smile can not only help you live longer, but also enhance your enjoyment of each day. I wanna take a second and also acknowledge that for some of you, life is incredibly tough right now. You're facing real challenges and pain. Moments when smiling isn't just a struggle, it literally feels impossible. In those moments, I find peace in the words of James 1, verse two and three. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let's be clear here, smiling through adversity isn't about ignoring or denying the struggle. It's about showing strength, resilience, and faith. It's about saying, I trust God's plan even when things are tough. So the challenge for myself and for y'all today is to smile more. Smile when you wake up, smile at strangers, smile at your loved ones, smile at your dog, and smile when you're alone. Let it genuinely be a testament of your faith, joy, and gratitude. Let your joy be the light this world needs. Let it be a source of strength and let it most importantly be a reflection of God's love. Hope you all enjoyed this message of encouragement because it's the inspiration for my new single, Smile. It's a feel-good song you can throw on in the car to help remind you that a cheerful heart is medicine for the soul. God bless. This world is not yours